In the previous video in this course, we saw that a regular expression always finds the leftmost match. Sometimes, though, you want to find more than just the leftmost match in a string. For example, you might want to find both cats in this string. It's easy to find the first cat by using an instance of the regex class in the match method. And you could find the second cat by just chopping off the part of the string that matched and everything else that precedes it, which you can do by using the index plus the length of the match you found for the first cat to figure out where to do the cut and then reapply the regex to that substring. But that's a lot of code for such a simple task, and this code snippet doesn't even take into account the empty matches. Empty matches are matches that are successful but have a zero length. Well, the regex next match method does all that for you, including handling the empty match case. In our code snippet here, if we found an empty match, it would be an infinite loop because the length of an empty match is zero, unless we made sure that the length was never less than one. By using regex next match, we can iterate through all the matches a regular expression finds with just a simple loop. Let's update the match test program we used in the previous video to find all the matches in a string. We'll start by changing the if clause to a while clause so we can keep on processing matches as long as they are successful. We no longer need the else expression so we can get rid of that. And so we don't end up with an empty loop, we need to use the next match to trim off what we have already matched and do the match on what is left. Let's try things out with something simple. We'll use cat as both the pattern and the subject. And, as in our previous tests, it matched at position 0 with a length of 3. Notice, however, there were two attempts to make a match, but the last one failed. Of course, the last one always fails because of the way we have made our loop work. Now let's make the subject cat cat. Now we get two matches, one at position 0 and then the other at position 3. Now let's throw some empty matches in the mix and see what happens. For this pattern, we want to look for the optional use of the word cat using open parenthesis cat close parenthesis question mark and make the subject dog cat. When we run this, we get five successful matches, not just one for cat. The fourth match does match cat. It is in position three with a length of three. Optional patterns that use question mark or the Kleene star are always successful. That's why we see a successful empty match for the letters D-O-N-G in dog, followed by the match for cat. The fifth match was an empty match that tried to match the zero-length string that was left after cat and what precedes it was removed from the subject. It's important to keep in mind that when you use the question mark or Kleene star, you may end up with a lot of empty matches as the regular expression walks through the subject attempting to find matches. Now let's see what happens when we use alternatives in a pattern. The patterns dog and cat are the two alternatives we are using in our pattern, and our subject is cat triple Z dog. We get two successful matches, one at zero for cat, and the second at six for dog. There were no failures on the z's between cat and dog because the regular expression engine just keeps shifting the pattern to the right until a match is found. Now let's try mixing an optional question mark with alternatives. We'll make dog optional but leave cat as required. Notice that cat was never matched. When a match is attempted, the first alternative that succeed stops comparisons of the others following. And the question mark, like the Kleene star, always succeeds. So the first alternative is succeeding with an empty match on the first six letters and then matches successfully on the seventh. If we swap cat and dog around, then only cat is matched. And lastly, if we make an optional pattern last, then both cat and dog are successfully matched. This just emphasizes that when you use alternatives, the order of alternatives can be a factor in the matches the regular expression produces. Also note that no alternatives that come after an optional alternative will be checked. We need to make one more change to match test to get it to work the way we really want. We are going to be looking for how regular expressions deal with multi-line strings, but at present we don't have a good way to input them on the command line.
By convention, backslash n means newline. Let's start up match test in debug mode and step into it and see how it will handle this convention as it is currently implemented. We'll use cat as the pattern and cat backslash n cat as the subject in the debug command line string. We'll set a breakpoint just after the second command line argument is read into the subject variable. Then we'll run the application in debug mode by pressing F5 and examine subject to see what ended up in it. What we see is cat backslash backslash and cat, which is not what we want. The Windows command line processor has converted backslash n into backslash backslash n. Later, when we look at how special characters can be treated as literal characters, we'll see why this is the case. For now, though, what we want to do is just convert any backslash backslash n we see in the input into backslash n. And we want to do this for both the pattern and the subject because we might want to use the new line in either. Let's build this and do a quick test. We'll run match test with cat backslash n as the pattern and cat as the subject. This fails because there is no new line at the end of cat. If we add a new line to the end of cat and try again, we do get a match. Not the most extensive testing in the world, but enough to move on to the rest of this module.